Now, <clears throat> hot and spicy vlogs. When I grew up, or when I was growing up, you were brought up to think it was rude to eat with your mouth full. Eat with your mouth. <laughs> Take two. Good evening. Hot and spicy vlogs. When I was growing up, it was always planted into your mind, taught, whatever, that it was bad manners, rude to talk, that's the word, with your mouthful. However, it seems a popular pastime on this channel once a week, maybe sometimes twice. Now, oh, look at that, bones are clean as a whistle. And clean as a whistle, where's that? <laughs> These, well, I get asked a lot, where do you get your hot and spicy wings from? The two major players for me are Tesco, hot and spicy wings, or Sainsbury's, which these are, and they are Perry Perry uh, chicken wings, or hot and spicy, yeah, Perry Perry, if you look at Perry Perry in, um, oh you nearly lost it then, you come up with them, go on help yourself, yeah, so, <laughs> There's no sauce tonight, as they are. These are quite a tang to them. I'm having them as they are, with the obligatory, with the must-have, cold, very cold, beer, lager, carling. Oh, cold one. And there it is, look at that. You see how cold it is? Yeah, so um, it's funny how things can turn and what I was taught that was quite rude has now become quite popular. So, sorry mum. Oh. I'm saying nothing. This is a good life. A very good life. Now, a bit of a change. In this video, I'm going to mention a channel. And I'm going to give a shout out to a channel. Um, a very nice person who's given myself and Graham um, a shout out uh, in his previous videos and his channel is The Exodus Project and he's from America and he is a decent gentleman um, he seems to do a lot of videos what I like walking he's growing tomatoes or tomatoes as they say in America as you say, I should say, um, and uh, he does the odd vlog, you know, chats, he's just done one uh, Friday chat, I think he's just finished work and he's heading home or something, and you know, thanks for your shout out and I wish you luck with your channel, so um, the Exodus Project, I'll put a link to his channel down below, and he's done vlogs, in his garden I think it is and walks and he's mentioned me and Graham a couple of times Denby and all that sort of stuff so um, thanks very much it is it doesn't go unnoticed very grateful um, and good luck with your channel um, I was out 
and about today on a walk I didn't mention it I didn't vlog it and it worked fine <laughs> dear because normally when I mention tomorrow I'm going on a vlog uh, on a vlog <laughs> I've had a few tonight tomorrow I'm going on a walk and oh I would have do this and the other something always happens jinxed so I don't mention it now <laughs> However, I started my filming, and I started by the castle, and I went in a clockwise direction. Now normally, when I do a walk, I do it in an anti-clockwise direction. Now, those of you who know the very good friend of mine, and you know who that is straight away when I say that, the only friend I have <laughs> the only friend now um, <laughs> deal. and I was going through the Gwynei just doing a piece of camera just finished and who walks up but Graham my good mate and we had a chat now then here a lot of people say oh, you're always mentioning Graham you're always showing him did I show him in my walking video no, I did not show him in the video. You didn't even know I'd met him until I've so told you now. We met in the Gwynei. We had a damn good chat. And he was saying that he'd just been filming um, his project on his... Uh, he mentioned in his previous vlog he was doing. And he just finished doing that, so he was on his way back. And... Um, so hopefully this will prove I don't have to mention him. Well, I've mentioned him now because I was, you know, I'm telling you. But uh, I don't mention him in every vlog and I don't show him in every video I meet him in. You know, so today we met up and we had a chat. And he was not in the video, was he? No, he wasn't. Right, thank you very much. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it and you'll see. Uh, it was quite a quick walk. Um... Well, for me, perhaps that's a long walk for some people, but it's nothing, nowhere near a long walk for me. Um, I had a lot to do today, uh, filming-wise. I had three things to do, and all been filmed, all been edited, and all been exported, or, you know, whatever, uh, published, and they're ready to go. So, it's all good. Now I'm doing this. This is, this is the, what's this? The fourth, the hell, four things on a Saturday, Ooh, overtime. But uh, yeah, um, fantastic day. It was a lovely day, warm, very warm today. Um, no, no room for a hat or gloves, a hat or gloves, hat or coat today. Whew, no way. But the thing is, what I've noticed, and this is, if you. The only re the only way you'll know what I mean by this is uh, Graham will know what I mean because he walks the same walks I do obviously or I walk the same walks he does you know in the same area obviously um, you can do a walk today right and you know think about this wherever you live in the world you, if you do a similar walk a lot a lot um, and all year especially. You can do a walk, say I've done one last week. Okay. I do the same walk today and I film it. It's changed. Well, how do you mean it's changed? Well, what I mean by it's changed is it's the growth. You know, when I'm into summer now, we've left spring, coming into summer. The trees have just exploded in leaf. The flowers, the the scents, the, everything has changed. The warmth in the air. It's a different walk, even though it's the same walk, it's a different walk. Um, you'll always see different things, squirrels, rabbits, animals, sheep. All You'll see something different all the time. So to the person walking it, it's different. And I know some people have got this thing about filming the same thing. and But uh, all I say is, don't watch them. You know, if you, if you, in a nice way, I don't mean that nasty. If you... You know, I wouldn't expect anybody to watch anything if they're not happy about it. But it, 
a lot do like it so I do them that's why I do them because a the majority do enjoy them so thank you so much it means a lot right cheers after that yeah and uh, went round and you know some of the fields even I've walked through and you know it might be a week or two since I walked through, through some of them and they've grown bloody hell and good grazing that for some animals when they go in so you know it's good it's good to see and uh, the kai dai pigs went there so they're on a, <laughs> they're having their day off so they're probably having a spa treatment in a a bath in a bath a bath of mud you know mm. lovely oh another thing in my walking video um as i was heading to the I was going to go back through the Gwynei the way I came and then halfway through I thought no I'll go, I'll go back past the Gwynei and up through to the castle and finish it there and as I mentioned that towards the end of the video I turned the camera to carry on walking you'll see if you look carefully an old chap with a dog and you know I stopped the shot I finished filming and what a terrific, oh, what a fantastic fella. He is a typical old Denbyite. And you'll know what I mean if you're from Denby. As soon as you, he said to me, <laughs> you know, how are you? You're right. Nice day and all that sort of thing. I said, he said, do I know you? <laughs> you know, typical of the old people. Do I know you? Yeah. Oh, I said, no, I don't think so. You're from here, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, there, I must have seen you on walks with a dog. Because <laughs> he had a little dog. Well, like a sheep dog or something, a collie or something. And uh, I said, yes, I said, we've probably se I said, I'm always up and down here. Oh, he says, they are. I've seen you around, he says, that's what it is. And I said, he said, lovely day. Oh, I said, lovely, yeah. I said, I'm growing tomatoes and they're doing well and... Water them every day now. <laughs> Fair play to it. Water them every day. Oh, I said I do. Water them, you know. Aye, right, well, good luck with them. And he said, I'll see you again. And do you know what he said at the end? He said, isn't it good to be friends? Like that. Isn't it good to be friends? Oh, and it, it bloody touched me in a way. Well, you know, elderly man like that. A typical, he's a gen... I could tell straight away he was born and bred in Denby, that fella. He's a genuine, an old Denbyite, not a, the old uh, bloody good people, I tell you. And uh, yeah, so I met him and then I did my closing shot, as I call it, the end piece, by the castle. And that was it, finished. And um, another fella, just before I was doing the closing shot, I know him, he used to be a painter, decorator, if you're watching, I know you watch these sometimes, you <laughs> bugger. And he's retired now. And uh, I was walking up towards the castle and he uh, he, sh he was in his car passing. And he, <laughs> he shouted, oh, you got the camera today. <laughs> they get to know you, you see. Going around and bloody got the camera today. So if you're watching, yes, yeah, send the bloody camera and I've done the video. Right. Going on too much with none of eating. Another chicken, chicken, oh, chicken wing, hot and spicy. Mmm, lovely. Deal. I must be dreaming, I thought I heard it. Oh, I did hear a dog. Shut up! I'm trying to do a bloody vlog here. Never heard that before. Yeah, so, uh, Life is good, isn't it? Life is good if, if you remain positive. Just dropped my camera bag. Well, this goes in when I finished. I've done a bit of a, a video as well, um, a driving video from. Uh, well, you'll see it. I'll probably put it up tomorrow or something. And I'll do my um, greenhouse update tomorrow. My uh, 
the money maker has exploded bloody hell very well um the sweet millions in that greenhouse outside that they're, they're doing okay. they're growing flowers loads of flowers seem to be coming on but um i'm yet to see a tomato on them but you'll see tomorrow won't spoil it but uh everything's doing well and the chili you can see them very well anyway yeah so as i say every time i do a video or a walk if i bump into graham wxpm denby vids denby vids let me say this last week graham your fame is spreading last week doing my round postman doing the round and the farmer come to me and says um really early says want your autograph my autograph i thought they found one of the <laughs> denby vids <laughs> denby Vid. his um children had found them because they got family in denby see from denby denby vids and they found denby vids and uh, i must have been in one of the videos you see and he, that's our postman he ran through the house look this is our postman holding it on the thing that were you what do you call them um tablet thing so he said uh, want your autographs next time i see you <laughs> it's good and it's good fun you know oh i said i then be vid says he does a lot a good mate of mine bloody hell he says don't tell them that he said they're wanting their autographs Deal. So it's good fun, isn't it? You know, all you know, and that's in uh, that's the other side of Ruth, in that. What the hell? Anyway, talking to Denby Vids. When I I don't go on about him. I have in this because you know I get the um, people asking and different things. However, when we meet up, you know, unplanned, nothing planned. People say, "Of oh, course, it's bloody planned." You don't be. Well, if you're in the same town, you're bound to meet. If you do the sort of similar walks or filming or whatever in the same similar place, you're going to meet, aren't you? Um, but we met today, unplanned. Not that people believe that. And um, in the Gwynyai, Graham had finished his filming, his project, and I was just starting my walk. And anyway, we had a chat. Did you see him in my video, in my walk video? No, you didn't. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that proves I don't have to show him in every video, and I don't mention him in every video, and I don't, even when we meet, don't have to film him. Just because we met, I didn't film him. So there's no obsession there, if you understand me. So, um... I will leave it at that. I'm going to finish these now. On um, ah, beautiful. I'll leave you to it. Another hot and spicy. So I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, before I go, that yeah, this is going long now. What's for dinner? Well, tomorrow is roast lamb, new potatoes, mushy peas, carrots. Roast potatoes, probably, and no Yorkshire pudding, and a load of gravy. <sighs> Lovely. Mm. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic bank holiday weekend over here in the UK. Um, I hope you have a great weekend, wherever you are. And I hope this video proves that just because I've met up with Graham today unofficially unplanned off the cuff whatever you want to call it i did not have to film him so i'm not obsessed with anything like that so i do not have to film graham every time i see him thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video